Hello, welcome back. So the question here is, uh, you have been given an HTML page and this HTML has a table with four rows and then five columns. You have to write a locator, you know, you have to write a target so that we can locate this element here, okay. So this is a cell in this table. So the question is, how Selenium will identify this cell, okay, or in other words, what you should write here in target so that we can identify this one. So the first step here is to go on and take a look at the uh, HTML, uh, HTML code itself, okay. And the HTML code is looking like something like this. And in fact, this is the line which is rendering that product one. So now, once you get this line which is rendering that product one, so why don't you basically apply whatever you learned so far. You have learned all these techniques so far, okay. You learn by ID, how to locate by name, how to locate by link. Okay, so do you think whatever you learned so far are those things are going to be useful to find out this, uh, find out a locator for this product one? Okay, so check like you know, if do we have do we have something called ID attribute? I don't think so. Do we have something name? There is no name. There is, is there any link available? There's nothing. Okay, so therefore all those things whatever you learn is of no use to you. So you need to know a new trick, and that new trick we are going to. Uh, explain you in this in this video okay so so let's see uh, what's going on okay so let's take an example the example is very simple I'm taking it from my Windows Explorer okay so if so here is a file called host file okay and this host file is available under my Windows for Windows C Drive on Windows system 32 drives and etc so what you see is that to locate this host file I have to give something like C slash Windows slash sys32 slash driver slash etc. So if you look at this and then if you look at the HTML page that is basically generated there it's the same thing. Here is the HTML that is a root node and under that HTML we have something called body and under that body we have something called table and under table we have something called T body and under T body we have different TR in the second tr okay so this is the first tr this is the second tr and this is the third tr tag fourth fifth okay so under the second tr tag we have two tds in the first tds we we are seeing the product one okay so therefore let's try to trace it okay so basically the first thing is we have html and this is put a slash because that's the root that's going to start from here and then slash then we have body so let's write down that then we have table. Let's write down that. Then under table we have T under T body. Let's write that. And then under T body we have five TRs. But I am interested in TR number two. So therefore, what I do, I just put like an array TR number two. Okay. Then slash under TR number two. So basically, right now with this, you know, with with this string, you are right now at this point. Okay. To to traverse to TD then what do you do? You give td and then 1. Okay. This is how you are going to going to trace this product one. Okay. So this is what we call a x path. Okay. So just, just now whatever you, you have written this is called an x path. So x path is a way to navigate an XML document and HTML is a special case of an XML document and this is called basically hex html okay so therefore so whatever techniques that whatever we have hex path we can always use those things to to locate elements and this is how you locating this element and another thing is that the you know, hex path basically uh, you know is a mini programming language okay so it does have something like you can use functions you can use expressions and so on okay so so, so basically that is what is the number four technique okay to locate elements is expert and it's a very powerful technique it you can like you know every element whatever you are seeing in HTML document will will have an unique expert okay so therefore if you are not able to get by ID by name or by link there is no you know definitely you can find it by expert there's no way that you will miss it let's check like you know if it's really finding expert so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this uh, this is my uh, that that's that that's the page and i'm going to go to the selenium ide and let's say i want to write a new command and the command is a click and i want to see the target i want to give 
let's say some HTML and then what you do uh, we give HTML then slash body then slash table so so HTML body table and you have T body and then TR okay so you have to go to T body and then slash TR and TR we need to go for the second element so therefore we have to give two here then slash for TD you have to give the first element okay so this is how probably you write the text path if you do a find uh, let's see so it's saying that it's find is not able to find so what you have to give you have to give x path is equal to that okay it's just you know it's you know like you, know, you have to give x path is equal to the 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 the, the complete path and if you find now so it looks like you know you are finding right now the product one okay similarly you know if you want to uh, find out the second you know zero zero one just you have to go and change to two okay so if you click on this right now then it will be able to find out so this is how you basically locate using xpath okay as i told you any element any element in the html uh, you know in, in the html can be located using this xpath one more thing that i want to tell you you can install another plugin that is called firepath okay so firepath plugin if you install on your firefox browser okay on top of your firebug then what you can do you can basically get uh, you know the xpath by using the firebug so here is an example how to do that so click on firepath so if you click on firepath it will show you xpath okay then click on this button here okay to inspection uh, inspect button so if you click on inspect and let's say I want to find out the X path of this button called submit. So if I click on this thing, then it's showing me some value there. If I want to click on this thing, 0003, so this is the X path of this thing. So basically what I want to say you that either you locate yourself by going through this thing or else install Firepath plugin and then Firepath plugin is going to give you the X path. And this is one of the technique to do that. Okay, so I hope uh, you got a very basic idea of XPath. In the next video, I'm going to explain you with more examples.